Hey guys, welcome back. Yesterday I talked about why we will most likely have a big problem in Master Rule in the future. If you have not seen that video, go check that out in the top right corner. Today I want to show you what this is. No, das kommt ja gar nicht. Hey guys, welcome back. Within the last days, I have shown you that we will have big problems in Master Rule with future decks or with future support for strong decks that we already have. If you have not seen that video, it's in the top right corner. Go check that out. Very interesting, very informative. Today, I want to show you what a Snake Eyes can become or will become in the future, as a lot of people are waiting for Snake Eyes hits. And I have already made the argument that with the new Fiendsmith support, it doesn't really matter whether we get any Snake Eyes hits, but turns out that not only does a Snake Eyes get the new Fiendsmith support, but later on it also gets new sinful spoils support in the form of the sinful spoils deception and a few fusion monsters that actually make a very insane one card combo basically um, leading to discards um, so this is what i want to show you today we are starting with this sinful spoils deception here we have one monster discard and one random discard which obviously if you go starting five here it's not that unlikely and i will show you what one combo can do and why it doesn't really matter what you do with the snaker engine you have to either kill the snaker engine or or we will have this deck be the strongest deck in the meta for the next year, honestly. So let me show you what this looks like. We're acting Sinful Spoils Deception, which is a continuous um, spell card, which says we can tribute one monster from our hand or field. This is why we need this effect veiler here and add one Azamina card from our deck to our hand. So Azamina is this new thing that we are going to use. We are going to add the Sacred Azamina. We can now ac activate the Sacred Azamina. We are going to reveal one Azamina Fusion Monster in our extra deck and send one Sinful Spoils card from our hand or field to the graveyard for every four levels the revealed monster has and then we can special summon it so this is a continuous sinful spoils card so we are revealing the mu ritzia lago which has six stars so we need to send away one sinful spoils card we are sending away deception and summoning the mu ritzia lago which azamina mu ritzia lago basically says when summoned we can add um, um, a sinful spoils or an azamina card we are going to grab wanted seeker of sinful spoils and the next thing you might already know we're activating the wanted to grab the Diabell star and this is where we need our second discard for the infinite permanence in this case we are going discard activate Diabell star to um, set to the field not at our hand this was a mistake here to set to the field the sinful spoils snake eye the next thing we are going to do is activating our fiendsmith engine we are still not in nibiru range note that here this is very important this combo plays um, under nibiru uh, we go for the moon of the closed heaven if you're not aware this is basically the starter point if you're not starting with your fiendsmith in the hand then you need to go moon of the closed heaven because this one can be turned into the link one fiendsmith monster which then can be turned into fiendsmith himself but i will show you this in a second the next cool new thing that we can do is activate in the graveyard the sinful or the second azamina which says if this card is in your graveyard we can target one azamina monster we control or in our graveyard shuffle it into the deck and when we do this we can add this card to our hand once again so we are targeting our fusion monster the mu ritzia lago putting it back and so we have once again sacred azamina in our hand we can now because this is not once per turn activate this once again show a different azamina fusion monster this time the re silvera which also has six stars so we need to send away one sinful spoil cards from our field our hand we have original sinful spoil so we are sending this away obviously and then we can summon this other fusion monster and right now we have an Omni Negate Life because this card says um, once per turn when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, we contribute this card and negate that effect. So now we are safe against any hand traps, any more interactions that our opponent has, and we can continue playing the game. The funny thing is that we can now activate our original Sinful Spoils in the graveyard, banish this card, target our Diabellstar, get this back to the deck, and then grab a level 1 Fire Monster, which obviously we are going to have Snake Eye Ash. And now we are into our Snake Eye Engine. So we have our Omni Negate as your Azami our card is set up we have our fiendsmith engine ready and we have our snake as engine because remember we have not normal summoned yet so now we are going into the fiendsmith part because now we are nip safe we are going into the fiendsmith link one which can then quick effect tribute itself to go into the fiendsmith itself which the fiendsmith is just insane then we are normal summoning snake eye ash and the next thing is quite known i would say we are going to add the poplar poplar effect uh, which can now be special and grab us the field spell with the field spell we are going to now set uh, one of the the newer cards that we have not yet in Master Rule, but will probably come quite soon because this is honestly an older card, the Snake Eyes Diabell Star. Um, this card in the Spell Trap Zone can um, basically target another Fire Monster in your graveyard, then put the Fire Monster in the Spell Trap Zone and put itself 
as a monster to the field, which is quite nice. And we will make use of this in a moment here. Next thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, use the Requiem's Fiendsmith Requiem's effect to equip to the Fiendsmith Engraver as an equip card here. So now we have a free send away for our Snake Eye Ash. So we are going Snake Eye Ash into Oak. This is quite known. And then we are going Oak to revive the Snake Eye Ash. Then we want to get into our Flame Edge Dragon. So Oak sends away the Snake Eye Star Bell Star. We have not used any real monsters, but only like equipment spells or continuous spells. And now we have the Flame Bird Dragon. Next thing we're going to do is link away Poplar and Ash into an IP Mascarina. Now we can trigger Poplar to set um, one of the fire monsters from our graveyard into the spell trip zone. Because we have not yet used Snake as Diabelsa's effect to be special summoned as a monster and set something else in the spell trap zone, we are obviously going to play Snake as Diabelsa here. Then we are going to link away IP and a Fiendsmith Engraver for the Fiendsmith Link Fusion Monster. Note here that you need to have a light Fiend Monster, so we need to use our Fiendsmith Engraver. Engraver. We can now activate this link too to fusion summon a Fiendsmith fusion monster with materials from our graveyard, hand or our field. We are putting back, so we have to put back the resources, back the Fiendsmith Requiem and the Moon of the Closed Heaven to light fiend monsters for our Fiendsmith Lacrima. Lacrima can now on summon activate, we target our Fiendsmith Engraver to either special add to the field or add it to our hand. Because we have not yet used the normal effect of the Fiendsmith Engraver where it can discard itself to add a fiend Smith um, um, card to our hand, we will do this next. So we activate the engraver, dump it to the graveyard and act the Fiendsmith Tractor or Tractors. Tractors can now be activated to add one light fiend monster from our deck to our hand. We are adding the Fabled Lurry, an old card that doesn't really belong to this archetype, but it works because Fiendsmith Tract says that we now need to discard a card from our hand. We are going to discard the Fabled Lurry and Fabled Lurry says if this card is discarded to the graveyard, special summon it, which is also very nice because this is a light fiend, which means this can enable your entire Fiendsmith line by going onto the link one Fiendsmith Requiem, which needs a light Fiend monster. Then we are going to resummon the Fabled Lurry, turn it into a Lingo Rebo here. And the next thing we are going to do is activate Fiendsmith Engraver in the graveyard, put back the Lurry to Special Summon. So Fiendsmith Engraver has three effects basically. Um, it can um, uh, yeah, target a, an equip card it has and uh, a monster on the field, send it away to the graveyard. It can be discarded to add a Fiendsmith card and it can um, basically shuffle a back um, a light fiend monster from the graveyard to special summon it. So it's really crazy. Then we can banish fiendsmith tractors from our graveyard to fusion summon, but this time around with monsters from the field or the hand, so not the graveyard again. We are going to use the sequence, the lacrima, and the Fiendsmith Engraver to Fusion Summon the boss monster Fiendsmith's Desiree. Desiree can now be equipped with the sequence from the graveyard because every link monster of the Fiendsmith archetype you can equip to one of the Fiendsmith monsters and now the Fiendsmith Desiree is untargetable and also has a quick effect that non-targeting it can negate cards um, to the number of link rating basically equipped to this card, in this case 2 because this is a link 2, um, until the end of the turn. So we could at any point activate Desiree non-targeting and after that we will uh, be able to decide up to two cards on the field that are negated until the end phase. So this is kind of an omni negate but a board omni negate right so you can't really negate a hand trap that is in the hand. Then we are going uh, to and this is just so that you are aware that we are targeting this. The Snake Eyes from Birch Dragon is putting the IP here no big surprise we are linking away Linguribo and Flame Birch for Moon of the Closed Heaven. We don't need the Moon here we just need to go into a Link 2 to get the Flame Birch to the grave but it makes sense to use the Moon of the Closed Heaven because next turn, if there is a next turn, we can shuffle back the Moon of the Closed Heaven into the extra deck to summon our Fiendsmith Engraver again. So it always makes sense to have these light fiends in your graveyard for your Fiendsmith cards because and this is really cool about the Fiendsmith stuff. Uh, the Fiendsmith stuff is basically shuffling itself into the extra deck back or into the deck so you can always reuse these cards, which is very insane. So we are going to activate Flame Bridge Dragon, get two level 1 bodies here, then we use one of these level 1 bodies. By the way, I made a little mistake here. You should use and I will correct this in the end. It's not a big one but you should use Poplar here and keep Poplar on the field. I will explain to you why this was just a mistake I made in this combo. We are going to make Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess gets us back our Flame Dragon for follow-up and also for getting the IP from the Spell Trap Zone. 
Then we activate Snake as the Abelsa, which we still have not activated, targeting our Oak, and Oak will now be placed in the spell trap zone, and Snake as the Abelsa will be summoned. Now we are going to activate the effect of Finsmith Desiree to negate something until the end of this turn, and we will negate our Promethean Princess, because at this current moment we are firelocked, and now we are no longer firelocked because the Princess is negated, which means that we can now use her and the Snake as the Abelsa to make an Apollosa, which normally would not be possible because it's a wind monster, but because our Promethean was negated, we can do this, and the Appaloosa has two basically coins on it, so a two material Appaloosa, and as I already said, you should have summoned a Poplar here, not the Snake as Ash, because now we have a Poplar, this is our end board, and if the Poplar gets killed in our opponent's turn, we can reset most likely the Snake as the Abelsa to the Spell Trap Zone, then again, I guess if our um, Flame Bird Dragon gets killed, it doesn't really make uh, a difference, because then we would all uh, also be able to get this back to uh, the field here. So what do we have here? We have an Omni Negate with the Azami Severa. We have the temple that brings out either the oak or the IP Mascarina. The other one will then probably be brought out with the Flame Birch Dragon. We have Flame Birch Dragon that can create follow up here. Um, we have this one that can reset the snake as Diabelsa in the spell trap zone. We have the Fiendsmith Desiree, which can basically non targeting field omni negate two cards. And then we have a two material Appaloosa as well as our Promethean Princess in the graveyard. And one thing that I, I just see it here, one thing that I have actually missed doing, but you can also do, is to banish the Wanta Seeker, uh, Seeker of Sinful Spoils, put back the original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye, and draw an additional card, which could be a hand trap. So from only one card, this new card here, this Sinful Spoils Deception, we had access to our entire engine, to the entire Fiendsmith engine, to the entire Snake Eye engine, and we were able to establish an Omni Negate early that protects us from Nip and any other interaction. And just keep in mind that, obviously, in your starting end, with all these, all these engines in your deck, all this Fiendsmith stuff, Triple Fiendsmith, you have Snake Eyes, Ash, you have Bonfire, you have Diabellstar, you have, I don't know, Original Sinful Spoils, you have Poplar, you have so many starter cards in your deck, you have Triple the Sinful Spoils Deception, and you just have to draw one, basically, to make an insane board, and even if one gets negated by your opponent, it's very likely that you can access other stuff, but this is what you can do with one card. With one card, you can make this board here, this is absolutely bonkers, and also has a lot of follow-up via the Flame Badge. And also, we still have the Fiendsmith Engraver in the graveyard, so next turn we will be able to go Fiendsmith Engraver, shuffle back the Lacrima or the Moon of the Closed Heaven, in this case probably the Lacrima, to summon it to the field, and then we have once again access to our Fiendsmith engine, because remember the Fiendsmith Link 1 is again in the extra deck, so we could once again go into the Fiendsmith Link 1, summon another Engraver from the um, deck, and then we could, for example, equip the Engraver with the Link 1 Fiendsmith guy and just remove a card from our opponent's field. It's just so insane what this deck can achieve and this is what we are basically aiming towards and this is also why it's not that important or not not that impactful uh, what we do with the snake eyes engine right especially not the way that konami um, uh, tends or has done it in the past when it comes to the snake eyes stuff i mean we have snake eyes ash at one we have bonfire at two but as you can see right here you don't even need triple snake eyes ash if you can just start with this one because you can just search it as long as the snake eyes ash is at one there is no problem so either konami decides to really kill this engine in the sense that they uh, go and forbid i don't know Snake Eyes Ash or they forbid the original Sinful Spoils. They really have to do, I don't know, Flame Bird Strength maybe. They really have to do something extreme. Otherwise, this deck will just not die, but only get new support pieces in the future. Fiendsmith, Azamina, and we will have this deck around for so long if they don't decide to really kill it, which they do not have done, uh, which they didn't do in the OCG as well as in the TCG. We are expecting a big TCG list um, in the next few days. The, this will be very interesting. Maybe it's already out by the time this video is uploaded but yeah this is crazy let me know in the comments what you think by the way if you like my videos please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell and we will see each other in the next one